Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. Today's episode is going to be a little different than usual. I have been doing some testing as always, but today is all about the test, which has taken a lot of my time. So my buddy Efo suggested that we investigate villager breeding. After he had some troubles getting a farmer, he pondered if there was a bias in the game for the types of villager professions you can get from breeding. So the idea is simple, we breed villagers and we tally up their offspring to see what the likelihood of each job available is. However, this test is made more complicated by the idea that the villagers who are breeding could be influenced by what type they are. And this is where our testing gets complicated. Welcome to our testing world. This is a facility I built with ease to help control and test the breeding of villagers. Here we have a dismantled villager breeder made by Unary Bit. We put 50 villagers into this space to breed and separate the offspring. Back here we can change the jobs of all 50 villagers with a click of a button. This means in each test, all of the breeding villagers will have the same job. There are 11 jobs in total, and that means we had to run this test 12 times, but I'll get to that in a bit. Here we have two buttons to control the villagers' willingness to breed a system to stop them breeding once they have bred 200 times, and a system to detect their job, which you can see a scoreboard for on the side of the screen. So here's where things get crazy. I made 11 copies of the world. I opened them up one by one, changing the jobs of the breeding villagers and turning breeding on. Then with help from my server team, we created 11 separate servers on our box and put one of these worlds on each server. I then had to run 11 instances of Minecraft overnight and log them into each server because the villagers wouldn't breed unless there was a player logged in. Then in the morning, I tallied up the total of all of the jobs of the newly bred villagers and put the information into a spreadsheet. I also ran a 12 test where the breeding villagers had mixed professions. So now let's go and look at the results. Here are the results in their raw form and to make sense of these numbers we needed to make a line chart. So what you're looking at right now may be a little confusing and it certainly looks like it. At the bottom we have the jobs of the bred villagers. The different coloured lines represent what group of villagers they were bred from. So what you're looking at here is a graphical representation of the game's behaviour when choosing jobs for villagers. And although confusing and messy, there isn't too much to talk about here. If there was, we would see something like this. It's a mock-up, but it's demonstrating a result we were testing to see. The graph shows that if you breed clerics, you are very likely to get them as offspring, and the same goes for the librarians. But this was just a mock-up to show how we use charts. So going back to the actual chart, we can see there is a low likelihood on farmers, fishermen and shepherds, and a high likelihood on clerics and librarians, with no noticeable influence from the type of group they were bred from. So this led me to look at the numbers in a different way. So here is a pie chart. This represents the total amount of bred villagers from all 12 tests. That's 2,400 villagers, and this shows the percentages of each type of villager on average. Our previous chart indicated there was no influence from the type of villagers that were breeding, so this right here is what you are looking for. This is the villager breeding bias. If you are looking to get yourself a leather worker, there is a 10% chance. That means for every 10 villagers you breed, there will likely be one leather worker. So I decided to look into it a little further. Some of these jobs are clearly unpopular and there is not much indication as to why. Maybe it's the way the game determines a profession, but there was one other factor to look at here. There are five types of villagers, each with a profession that changes how they look, and three of those professions have multiple jobs, or careers as they're listed here. So if we combine the different careers into their professions, we get this a much more even spread between the five professions, and I believe this would explain why clerics and librarians are so common, because the game must pick at random their profession first, and then their career second. If we sort the results by the total amount of bred villagers, you can see the more careers a profession has, the lower down the list it is, and I think this is pretty conclusive stuff. So make what you want of the testing and the results. The spreadsheet will be available for download if you want to look at the numbers for yourself. But my conclusion is that the game picks a profession at random first, then the career second, and the villagers involved in breeding have no influence on this process at all. And that is it for this episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. As always, if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It will always be appreciated. You know, a lot of time and effort goes into these videos. Believe me, doing these tests was a huge headache, but I'm really glad that we got there because we learned something, and that's always good. So, that's it for this episode. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.